So about clusters and our work. Let's see. So Seema, what can you tell me about Triton? Yeah, so like yesterday, <clears throat> Enrico was uh, giving us this explanation of what is a cluster and where, do, where can you do computing. Uh, so Triton is a high performance computing cluster. So what it basically means is that it's a bunch of servers that are in a machine room that are connected into like a, a fast uh, fast storage system and then they they are connected to each other using this fast interconnect uh, so there's a lots of computers basically at one place that are connect like create this cluster um, and our cluster is a heterogeneous one uh, many of the like large scale clusters like lumi uh, from csc they might be homogeneous so you have only one kind of a computer and you have a bunch of them but in our case we have this kind of a sh uh, sheep of thesis mentality where we like constantly update what kind of machines we have and at some point we don't anymore have any of the original machines left so then are we the same cluster well <laughs> in our mind we are the same cluster but basically it's a bunch of computers that are connected to each other uh, via network and this cluster is then managed uh, or like stuff in the cluster is managed using a uh, queue system. We'll be talking a lot uh, about the queue system in the coming days because that's how you actually use the cluster. Uh, but but basically you can think of it as like a different kinds of like uh, different kinds of kitchens. Like there was this metaphor about uh, parallel computing yesterday and we were talking about like stars and like, different stoves, like how many or... burners you have mm -hmm. yeah how many uh, burners you have per, per stove and yeah. you can think of uh like each compute node so we're talking about compute nodes we're talking about the single computer mm -hmm. so you can think of every one of them has a uh, different amounts of uh, processors different amount of memories some of them have these uh, gpu cards that are used for for computing as well, like accelerated computing yeah. and very various other uh, features. So, but yeah. you can think of the cluster as this kind of a family of like a big, big, uh, big building full of kitchens uh, with different kind of stoves, basically yeah. like a full re restaurant worth. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else is here. So, building your skills. So, I think we've sort of explained pretty well that there's this thing where you're always needing to learn things we're always learning and we have different resources here you can check out but being in this course is the best way to start um should we talk about how to get help really quickly oh um, yeah so so yeah so richard well how would you like if you have a problem how would you uh ask for help yeah. with that kind of a problem well, so first I would try to search the documentation and just a general web search to see if I see any ideas. Then usually I would come to the garage and ask for help. If I know exactly what the question is, then I would make a issue tracker um, or make an issue tracker request, which can be found here. It's basically Alto GitLab. So um, yeah. Oh. We nowadays also have like this kind of a chat service uh, yeah. via Zulip chat, uh, where we where you can join us to have like a bit more like informal kind of a discussion, like if you have questions and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, yeah like we also have this daily garage where you can come and ask us directly, like yeah. what's the thing yeah. on your mind, what kind of problems do you have? Okay, do note so... that like uh, your university might have a different kind of a like way of dealing with uh, customer issues and, and uh, like it might have a different portals where you can ask for help. But the main thing you should remember that like help is available all around. So it's not only uh, or the official route. There's also like, like, of course, in the internet, there's a huge amount of resources available and your colleagues are valuable as well. So if you know somebody who has been using similar kinds of things, uh, you can ask them for help. Yeah. And people are usually 
very, very good with helping each other. Yeah. So let's see, are there any notes in HackMD about this? No, it's there. So what's next on the schedule?